Hi guys and welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to align your vocals appropriately to ensure that you're not sounding out of zinc on areas where you've doubled up your vocals or tripled your vocals or put 10 layers on a particular part of your vocals. Um, the tool we're going to use is the flex mode. Fle the flex tool has several different elements added algorithms that are associated with um, with the tool that can help create better instrumentals and um, better vocals etc so today i'm going to show you how to tidy up your vocals so the first one i'm going to do is play you a bit of the a track that i done many years ago it's an interlude um, just to get a feel so you can get a feel of the song So that is a part of the interlude that i done several years ago, as I said before. So now I'm going to show you how to tidy up some sections. So all these sections here are just my harmonies, low harmonies, high harmonies, etc. And some of these areas are just where I've doubled up. But the main vocals are these two hook leads, which is these two tracks here. So what we're going to do is just basically solo those uh, sections and tidy up the vocals. So the first thing I want to do is turn on the flex tool. So to do that, you just make sure that the, you click on the flex mode button, which is here. And that should turn blue. Then you want to select the tracks that you want to work on. So we want to work on the hook leads. So you also click on the flex mode there, enable flex mode here. It's automatically the top one selected polyphonic auto. We're going to do the same for the second track. We're going to call that, we're going to select polyphonic on that as well. Then we're going to zoom in just so that we can clearly see the sections we're tidying up. So really what I want to do is focus on the first part first. So I've zoomed in appropriately. So I'm just going to go back to that section there. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. And by the way, to zoom in, you can either press the letter Z on your keyboard or on the top right hand corner of the screen, you've got vertical and horizontal zoom up here. So just push those knobs to um, select the, the various zoom mode that you would like. So you can already see that Logic has planted in some lines to show where there may be some areas that you can adjust. Um, and also this will make your job easier them putting these lines here. So when I say them, I mean logic, the makers of logic. So what we need to do is just basically move these bars here to align with the bars on top, or you can do it the other way around. But we're going to make sure that we align this section. So I'm going to solo this, and I'm just going to play the first part so we can hear it soloed. I don't know why you're standing in the rain. So you can already see that the rain, sorry, I can sing, but I'm just giving an example, um, needs adjusting because it's not aligned. So we just zoom in there, and that's right there. You can clearly see that bit should be moved over here. So we're just going to push the bar here, push it over there, and we're going to push the other bar there as well. Make sure it's aligned better. And then we're going to just double check the other areas. So that seems to be aligned okay. This one could be moved over slightly more there. And what else have we got here? This one seems to be just about okay, but we can drag that there as well. This bit seems to be fine. You can also click in parts where you like on the track to move it appropriately. So that bit seems to be okay. Um, it's not drastic difference here. I can see a slight difference here. I might want to move that over there. And again, that's fine. The beginning bit here, I'd move slightly as well. 
So now what we're going to do is play that section back and see if we can hear a difference. I don't know why you're standing in the rain. So that rain is still a bit wonky, so we might want to just adjust that a bit more now. I don't know why you're standing in the rain. So that's better now, so that's not out of time. Then you might want to go to the next section and we'll have a listen here. So I'm just going to cycle this down. I can't believe that you left me in this place. So that section seems to be okay, but again, you can zoom in. Um, and just double check so that's slightly different so we'll just push that over there that slightly starts a bit late so we can move that bit there that bit's fine this bit's fine um, you can see I sing a bit different there but I still keep that as it is definitely move this one over there Yes, so now let's play that section again. So that's fine. Let's listen to the next section. Let's just, let's just cycle this, this bit here and see how that sounds. In this Perfect. So basically, that is all you need to do to align your vocals. Again, just to reiterate, what you need to do is turn on the flex mode highlight the tracks that you would like to pay attention to and either use the bars that um, Logic has already imprinted onto the vocal tracks to align your vocals or you can just click on any part of the vocal track and it will create a line and you can move it to where you want. So now let's just play that section again. Let's loop that whole section again and let's just play it out and see how it sounds. I don't know www.rochellearthurs.com